Hey guys, it's Dave. I'm at the uh, Chief Wapalos Memorial Park, also kind of known as uh, Chief Wapalos Grave Site, and the site of the Sac and Fox uh, Indian Agency. It's a historic site located near Agency Iowa. Uh, properties on the National Register of Historic Places in 1975 and the park is on the site of the Indian Agency that would become the home of the Sac and Meskwaki uh, Fox uh, tribes. They were relocated here by the uh, U.S. government after the Black Hawk War in uh, 1832. Uh, General Joseph uh, Street, he was appointed the Indian agent, agent and settled with his family in here in Agency. Uh, as stories goes, he got along pretty well with the, with the uh, Meskwaki Chief Wapalo. And um, here was the homestead of the, uh, the Street family. And then the graves beyond here, which we'll get to in a second. Street died in 1840. He was buried at this location, um, and the tribes gave the property um, that surrounds the grave to his wife, so she and her family could make a kind of make a living here on the site. Uh, two years later, Chief Wapolo was buried here uh, next to General Street, um, and there's some other graves of the Street children. Monolith. Yeah. So a little bit about Chief Wapolo. Uh, the main reason we're kind of here. He was born around 1787 and died March 15th, 1842. And like I said, he was the uh, chief of the Meskwaki tribe. Uh, which is based here kind of in early Iowa. Um, in uh, 1829, uh, there's General Joseph Street there. In the uh, 1829, he led his tribe west of the Mississippi River, uh, Chief Wapolo there. And uh, the frontier town of Wapolo later developed kind of around here. And like I said, it, it appears that Street and Wapolo had a had a fairly uh, decent relationship, uh, enough to be buried near each other together. So, like I said, Wapolo died in 1842 um, while he was on a hunting trip uh, near the Skunk River uh, in Ottumwa, Iowa, which is uh, oh, maybe 10 minutes west of here. And he was later buried here in accordance according to his wishes. I'll be laid alongside his good friend, um, General Street, uh, in this small park here that's eventually got his name. We've got another plaque here. The stone marks the house, agency site, which stood about 50 yards east. Uh, agency house was built by General Joseph Dunn Street in 1839 for the use of Indian agents. So we'll go over and see the graves real quick. And they're in this protected structure, chained, with the roof over it, uh, to clearly protect the stones from the, the elements of the Iowa weather here. And like I said, many of these people will be a uh, family of uh, street. We're starting off with a couple of children, Horace and John Street. Horace was four months, and John Street was ten, uh, ten, ten months, and they were grandsons of uh, General Street. Eliza Murray, sacred, the consort of General Joseph Street. General Joseph Street himself. Uh, he was born in 
was oops, born in uh, Virginia, 1782. He died here at the agency in 1840. Another plaque for Joseph Street there. Beside him is Lucy Francis, wife of John Beach and daughter of Joseph Street. And her daughter buried beside her, so this would be a, a daughter of, of uh, Joseph Street to the other side there. And then we come along uh, Chief Wapolo. Principal Chief of the Foxes, born at Prairie de Chirac, uh, shoot, about 1787, died in the forks of the Skunk River, March 15th, 1842, and here buried at his own request, the stone was erected by the Sac and Fox Nation. And it says in, oops, in memory of Chief Wapolo, same same things on the sign I just read. Distinguished from, um, kind of hard to see on the camera, I can't get any closer, unfortunately. Uh, distinguished from the early years for his valor, he was no less remarkable for his kindness and benevolence towards his people. While something of character and strict friendships towards the white men something for his universal regard uh, a few things left on his tombstone already so a very nice uh, resting place of uh, Chief Wapolo at the American flag of the general's tomb or memorial there be nice to get a little closer but I understand the, the need to protect the site and uh, these these stones will be well protected for a long time to come with the structure they have built around it so so there you go guys the grave of Chief Wapolo of the Sac Fox and Meskwaki tribes